All right, the Prime card just ended, and was it a robbery? Like, everybody is claiming that KSI got robbed, and I have to say right off the bat, I disagree. Like, that is probably the most far-off take you can have, because this fight was not a robbery whatsoever, and I'm gonna get into that later, but I also wanna talk about the co-main event between Logan Paul and Dylan Danis. We all saw Dylan Danis do his best impression of a human punching bag in there by getting beaten up by Logan Paul across six rounds, and yeah, obviously there was a controversial ending, and yeah, overall, I guess I was kind of a little disappointed about this Prime card. I mean, the main and co-main event I was super super excited for then I don't know I just felt like it didn't deliver I was wanting to leave the event with something like holy shit just didn't happen I felt like a lot of the fights all went to a decision there were a few good moments like you know saw Poppy getting knocked out by Slim that was a crazy moment but outside of that there isn't really anything to talk about outside the main and co-main event and overall man I mean I was super excited I said hey man that this card could change Misfits this thing could make them a lot of money and I feel like if this event went big I feel like it would have really helped the future of you know this whole crossover scene however I think this actually could kind of just ended it. I really don't think that you're gonna get another event as hyped as this one, even a Jake Paul and KSI fight. I know that's a big fight, but I just don't know if there's gonna be as much hype around it just because of how this fight went. And yeah, maybe it'll do similar numbers. However, I just don't see it being this massive event, but I'll say if I'm wrong in the future when they plan maybe a Jake Paul KSI fight, we'll see. But I wanna remind you guys to hit the subscribe button, like, comment, and share. We're trying to hit 20k by the end of the year. You guys are the best fan base in MMA, boxing, YouTube, boxing, and all the combat sports, so I know you guys are gonna help me with that goal. And I wanna first start off with the co-main event now this was a fight that i was super excited for as you guys know on the channel i would make constant videos trying to say maybe dylan could win this way maybe dylan could win this way trying to justify it in my head overall i predicted logan paul by decision which is basically what happened i mean yes technically it was a disqualification but it was at the end of that sixth round logan was gonna win a six round decision winning all rounds and yeah i just want to talk about something beforehand you know i mean look first of all dylan came in cool calm and collective and honestly it was probably because he had this plan from the get-go he's like look i just don't want to get knocked out if i lose i lose i'm a jiu-jitsu guy what do you guys expect and it seems like maybe his game plan was to tire logan out you know not throw a lot of volume and then put it on towards the later rounds but that just didn't happen we saw him just take a lot of damage and not give any back but yeah dylan looked really calm and composed however logan in my opinion clearly wasn't cool calm and composed he even was talking about how he had to have a zen moment the night before because he was getting so worked up about dylan danis and obviously the fight is that personal however he claimed weirdly enough he forgave <laughs> dylan danis and even in the ring right before they fought he kept saying to him i forgive you i forgive you yeah like really seems like you forgive him you're like passively aggressive just you know grunting to him i forgive you i forgive you like yeah i'm sure dude like this just makes no sense like wh like logan is such a clown at this point like you can't even say nothing about him but then the fight happens and yeah dylan clearly is not gonna throw anything and i like the high guard i said that i said look dylan needs to keep his hands glued because there's no way he's gonna be able to slip out of shots and throw any of his own so keep him up and i think that this just showed too how bad of a boxer logan is too how did logan not be able to get this man out of there number one he made the conscious decision to let this go to a decision right he never really tried to push the pace he never tried to get him out of there he was okay with just winning a decision as long as he didn't lose he don't want to put himself out there and that just speaks to the mentality that logan has as a fighter and that's always been his problem and that's why i don't think he'll ever be that good of a boxer because he doesn't have that you know kill instinct like jake does or like ksi does and a lot of this was just keeping him at the jab one two throwing combinations and just catching dylan's glove i think he should have tried to set things up to the body he threw barely any body shots i mean yes yeah, sometimes he would have flurries to the body and they would look good but at that point dylan just lowering his hands he didn't mix it up didn't get one down he didn't punch the body come up up top at all like it just seemed like he was a very dumb fighter and even for his coach to be saying in his corner hey you know keep at it don't take any risks it's like dude dylan isn't throwing anything like i get it from the coach's perspective maybe you just want logan to win and that's that and that's your job as a coach i was expecting a little bit more i was disappointed in both guys including dylan i will include dylan in this however it was pretty entertaining some of the submission stuff and pulling guard and things and it wasn't honestly that bad of a fight compared to the main event in my opinion which we're gonna get into but actually in comparison looking back i'm like you know what there were some funny moments in there and yeah logan won we all knew that was gonna happen i just thought that dylan would have a problem entering the clinch which he actually didn't have he did enter the clinch quite a few times but i thought that logan would just be able to keep him at the jab and there were certain moments where dylan was rocked looking for the clinch where he couldn't find it however there wasn't really a moment where dylan was hurt yes he did have some black eyes but there wasn't any like wobbly legs moment i just think that's an l on logan's part what is next for the man i think they should do mma i think listen if i'm the ufc watching this whole thing watching the numbers that this did i'm calling up dylan i'm saying look i'm gonna pay logan the purse whatever you were paid I'll give him the money and I'm also gonna pay you get on UFC 300 as a featured bout you and Logan MMA three rounds five minutes and obviously Logan has always wanted to fight in the UFC so it makes sense it's a good matchup both guys have bad blood do it at 185 or something like that and do it like a one-off fight and yeah this could be also Dylan's entry back into MMA especially if UFC 300 is headlined by Conor McGregor that could make sense so honestly I think the move is man if I'm like another promotion even like a Bellator even though they're going out of business or maybe PFL or something like that I'm offering that because look I don't think Dylan was probably paid millions he's probably paid at most 
almost a million dollars I assume probably in the hundreds of thousands so it's really not much compared to the revenue that that fight would make in MMA at least and I know it doesn't seem big now but wait until Dylan gets back on Twitter wait till he starts talking trash I think the fight is gonna eventually be there and I think they should you know I think why not let's do it and yeah look I think that Logan should do that however it is risky for Logan look I think it maybe he should just abandon it for his own sake and yeah that's my thoughts it was pretty boring but in comparison to the main event I actually enjoyed that more but we're gonna talk about the main event right now Tommy Fury KSI I was pretty excited for this one not as excited but as they were walking to the rings I was like man imagine KSI knocks this dude out that would be insane and overall if I were to say one thing about this fight I would say that basically nothing happened like other than that point deduction can you guys tell me one thing that happened in this fight it's hard to because it's really not a lot of good moments in the fight like there was barely anything to remember a very forgettable fight like I feel like the whole thing was just such a blur and I was paying attention you guys know me I'd be paying attention during these fights I watch fights on a weekly basis so I'm not some guy that's just not scoring dude like nothing happened in this fight it was missing and clinching missing and clinching for six rounds and for KSI to expect a decision from that is just insane to me but before I get into that I want to talk about some good things KSI did some bad things that KSI did some good things that Tommy Fury did etc KSI I want to start with KSI did a lot of good things well actually I was very impressed with him and I would have been a lot happier if he would have just handled his loss a lot better but we're gonna get into that in a minute I liked his game plan you know I told you guys in the build up to the Jake Paul fight I said look Tommy Fury is a guy on the back foot than a guy that's a lot better on the front foot because he's a guy that can get countered when he's coming forward it happens we see him against even amateurs against guys that are garbage he gets countered right it even happened with Jake Paul that is where you see Tommy Fury get caught is when he's coming forward and I thought that KSI picked up on that well game plan very well going on the back foot we were all talking about KSI being aggressive and Tommy Fury not being able to handle it well KSI on the back foot in that karate stance all the time it was extremely hard for Tommy Fury to deal with and it was just unorthodox he's you know a karate fighter and Tommy isn't used to seeing that. he's used to more traditional boxers and they're more square not really you know bladed and I thought that KSI could have made a few more improvements like I think that clinching so much I think he had to make sure that he at least made a statement before clinching and for Tommy Fury I felt like once again he just was missing and clinching missing and clinching really nothing else from him he just did I thought slightly better I scored it a draw they gave the decision to Tommy Fury I'm not mad about that and I wouldn't have been mad if KSI won because this fight was just so god awful I really don't care who won nobody deserved to win this one and look I kind of do feel bad for KSI I get it you know you sacrifice so much time you know weeks of your life preparing to beat this guy just to lose by a razor close decision just to almost be there and I'm sure in his mind he probably feels like he won and he was just robbed yeah afterwards you know Tommy Fury was a little bit classy you know and didn't really talk about KSI too much but did say oh he was just a little bit of a problem and also said that he had an injury he couldn't throw his right hand which Tommy Fury did look a little bit off so I'm not surprised by that but obviously that could also be an excuse too but you know we just don't know and yeah eventually KSI you know comes in basically gets the mic and says yeah how was a robbery and they just start yelling back and forth it seems like that now there's bad blood between the two still and yeah KSI clearly thinks that he won the fight Tommy Fury told him to go back to YouTube and that he was a bum and yeah, I just think that KSI handled this loss so classless. First of all, I don't even like any of this after win, lose, or whatever. Usually I like the respect. Look, you guys got into the fight. You guys did your thing. It was a competition. Let's just be done with it, okay? There's no need to really hold hard feelings after the fact. In this case, I get it. It was a very close decision. However, it's not Tommy's fault. Why are you taking out on Tommy? Why are you gonna go come at him when he really didn't come at you? It's the name of the game. I mean, I know these guys aren't boxers, but it happens to boxers all the time. Sometimes boxers are on the right side of it, and sometimes boxers are on the wrong side of it. I mean, if you look at the second case I fight with Logan, and you could argue that KSI was the beneficiary to bad judging that night. It just is one of those things where sometimes you're going to benefit, sometimes you're not. And that's just what it is. You can't be mad. You can only be mad at yourself because, look, KSI did barely anything. You can't win a fight being on the back foot, missing your punches, and just clinching. You can't do that. That's what happened. And I don't want to hear how, oh, KSI outlanded Tommy Fury because he landed one more punch. Like, he landed 39 punches and Tommy Fury landed 38. I don't want to hear that. You can't look at the punch stats and say, okay, this guy got robbed. Punch stats are over an entire fight. You have to look out on a round from round basis and that's how you judge and there's all the things too there's you know the damage of the punch where it lands etc so you can't just only rely on punch stats you have to also be watching the fight and it was close honestly the decision could have gone either way i think it should have been a draw and i just think it was a terrible look for ksi you know to be just so classless in his loss i mean when you compare it to jake paul i mean honestly i gained some respect from jake paul because jake paul although got dominated and wasn't as close he handled it good and when you just look at ksi i mean he's handling it like a baby if i'm gonna be honest but what's next for both guys i think that tommy fury i think for his sake you should probably keep going making money but 
but however if he wants to do some pro boxing it's gonna be hard to get from that level to be fighting someone in a main event in a sold out arena fighting somebody on an undercard that is barely known so to be quite honest i don't expect tommy fury to really go into the pro boxing route anything i could see him maybe even returning to misfits or returning to another boxing promotion and just fighting an mma fighter and for ksi it's obvious the jake paul fight let's make it now it's easy look let's make it for february make it in a couple months and let's end this thing okay we need ksi and jake paul obviously jake paul did worse against tommy fury than ksi ksi made it a competitive fight jake paul although he got a knockdown i thought was losing most of the fight and even the round he got the knockdown with it was mostly a slip like tommy fury was more off balance than hurt kicks even looking to the floor when he throws the jab so it wasn't like this you know prestigious shot that was beautifully set up and then even after that knockdown i thought that he lost that round but you got to give it to jake because of the knockdown but you guys get what i'm trying to say i think the fight to make is that i think it's interesting i think ksi has proved himself in a way that that fight will be competitive and we don't know who's going to win going into that one and i think it's only fair and one last thing for ksi to talk about appealing the decision after he criticized logan paul so much for appealing his decision with ksi is ridiculous you fear losing that's why you've appealed you losing is now going to be a part of history you will forever be known as the person that lost to ksi your children will know that you lost your grandchildren will know that you lost everyone will know that you lost to me ksi is clearly a sore loser right now and look i get it you know obviously it's probably tough to lose and i hope for his sake that he looks back and says hey man this was definitely a big mistake or maybe comes out and says hey you know i acted badly we've seen it happen with other guys that have lost that don't react so good in the beginning and then say hey man i got beat it's all good and i think for ksi's sake he seems like a good dude so i think maybe he will look back and regret it but just as of right now i think that he's just a clown right now and i think that both him and logan right now were clown in the event but i was disappointed main and co-main event disappointed I was hoping for some more and the whole card I thought was a bit disappointing too. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought of the video and what you thought of the prime card. Did you think KSI won? Did you think Tommy Fury won? Who do you guys want to see them fight next? Let me know in the comment section below. If you guys want to see the Jake Paul fight, KSI fight, let me know too. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.